Rockstar promised to give us robberies and they delivered it, because take a look, 52 gold bars for an outfit, isn't it a robbery? Also in Blood Money update we received legendary stranger missions, Rockstar calls them crimes and opportunities. Some cool cosmetics and nice small outlaw pass, different new bugs, glitches and other problems, also I have to admit they fixed a few older bugs. And there are some other things like DLSS and so on. So Blood Money update, is it good? Well, let's discuss. First of all, bugs. There are small ones, like for example, it shows you incorrect possible profit for your moonshine or trader deliveries, and it scared a lot of players, they thought it's a nerf. But it's not a nerf, it's just a visual bug, so nothing special here. You will still receive normal amount for your deliveries. It's not a big deal, but there are some bigger problems. For example, yesterday my game crashed on a PC more times than in the last few months. Red Dead Online even crashed crashed for the first time ever on Xbox Series X for me, like it never happened before until yesterday. And I'm not the only one with such problems, but on the other hand, Rockstar also fixed a lot of issues according to patch notes, maybe not a lot of issues considering the fact that they had 7 months to do so, but maybe they were too busy with fixing bridge glitch. After all, it was too much fun for Red Dead Online players, so they just had to stop it. Now let's move on to the new Outlaw Pass, which is called Quick Draw Club now. I've made a whole video about it, link will be in the description, but overall I enjoyed this new Outlaw Pass system a lot. There is a lot of cosmetics already in the game that I like and even more will be added, especially in the Halloween update. The only problem is, we're gonna need until the end of October for Halloween Outlaw Pass and it's quite a lot of time. But overall Quick Draw Club is a good content. Oh wait, have I said content? No, it's not a content, it's just cosmetics. Because you know, content for me is a new weapons, ability cards, horses, saddles and none of those things were added to Red Dead Online in the Blood Money update. But we have new activities, crime and opportunities, maybe that's the content that we were looking for. Let me tell you about these new activities in a few words. Capitale. 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 If you haven't tried it already, let me explain. Plan. Once you're gonna log in, you will see this icon on the minimap. You just have to go there to send an E and cutscene will start. We will be introduced to Guido Martelli, this Italian mobster, who will tell us about Capitale, this underground currency, also about his problems with some senator and so on. But you know what, after that he will just disappear forever. I mean, we will never see him again, we're not working with Guido Martelli. They haven't made new NPCs, we are working with the old NPCs who used to give strange missions, now they also give you these blood money missions, crimes and opportunities. Simply because these crimes are nothing more than reworked strange missions, improved a little bit. And I have to admit, I found them kinda funny, but I don't see too much of a replayability here. I see them exactly as strange missions, like complete them one time and never touch them again just to avoid this unskippable cut, since this annoying NPC quest give are stalking and by the way repeating Capitale, Capitale, Capitale. And by the way, in theory you will need to replace these missions, because it's a main way of earning Capitale, this kind of a new currency for this update. But the thing is, for completing such missions you're not receiving any Capitale, you still get money, experience and gold, but no Capitale at all. To earn it you will have to loot bodies, and by the way, drop chance is extremely small. Also you can find Capitale in in a small hidden chest, so you have to keep an eye on it. And actually I like this mechanic for some reason, I don't know why. But it's still not gonna make me want to replace these crime missions. And I'm pretty sure that Rockstar knew it, that's why you can simply buy Capitale from fans, and price is impressive, 10 Capitale will cost you 3 gold bars. By the way, to check how much Capitale do you have, just open your bag, go to valuables and find it there. Anyway, why would you need this new currency? Only for one reason, to gain access to new opportunity missions. It's like a main piece of content in this Blood Money update. Now we have only one opportunity mission available, but there will be two more added over time. 
Anyway, it's definitely not a heist in Red Dead Online, it's just slightly improved telegram mission. Yes, there are different ways to complete it and actually finding these ways is kinda interesting, it's like solving the puzzle, but it can be easily completed with the brute force even on the ruthless difficulty. Tonics are still overpowered in this game. By the way, sometimes game will force you to complete it in a such a brutal way just because train will stop moving like too early. Anyway, I completed this mission four times, including two times on the ruthless difficulty and payout is not impressive, it's just a fine payout. And remember, you need to collect capital to even start the mission. By the way, for the first completion on the ruthless difficulty, you gonna receive 0.6 gold bars. I guess it's a one-time offer, just like with the infamous bounties. Oh yeah, also for completing this on the ruthless difficulty, you will unlock this new hat at Madame Nazar and you will be able to buy it for $200. I don't really like the hat, but the concept is awesome, you know, this unique rewards for completing some achievements in PvP or in PvE. I hope they will develop this idea and we will see more of such rewards in the future. Anyway, my conclusion about these opportunities. Just like Telegram missions, they are okay, I guess. Nothing special, not a game changer, but it's fine to complete them once or twice to receive this extra payout for the first time and maybe find some different ways of completing it. But again, have you replayed telegram missions too often? Probably no, because they were designed for like one-time completion and this opportunity missions looks the same to me, at least so far. And who knows, maybe next two opportunity missions will be much more interesting, just like it happened back in December with new legendary bounty missions. But so far I'm not impressed and not truly disappointed. Not great or terrible. And few more things that I need to say about this update. First of all, I like that they added back all the skill pages from the previous Outlaw Passes, Outlaw Pass 4 and Outlaw Pass 5. You know, extra ammo capacity for all the weapons, wilderness camp fast travel and also efficient cooking. You can buy it from fans and the biggest surprise for me was that it cost money, not gold. A lot of money actually, but still I like this decision for many many reasons. Another thing that I enjoyed a lot in this update is DLSS support on a PC. It gave me easily extra 10 FPS for my RTX 3070. And I personally see no decrease in graphics quality, no extra blurness or something, so it's like a magic. Also like this new feature for PvP, that now we can choose showdown modes that we want to play. I still not sure whether it will save PvP in this game, but it's a move in the right direction. So as you can see this update is really weird. There are lots of good stuff, good changes, but on the other hand there are new problems and new bugs, and the most importantly it feels like they wasted potential again. I mean with these crimes they definitely could have done something better than just improve strange emissions. So overall I will say that Blood Money update in Red Dead Online is at best average. I mean 5 out of 10. It's not terrible but definitely not something that we've been waiting for for a long long time. For 7 months at least or even more because when last time we received a good update in Red Dead Online. By the way community also thinks that Blood Money update is okay. And it's fine, but unfortunately it's not something that such a great game deserves. But it's only my opinion, let me know yours in the comments. And as always, I hope you enjoyed this video, thank you for watching, like, subscribe, до свидания.